Hello people, it's me here, um, yeah, I just read on uh, WrestleZone.com that Stevie Richards and the Highlanders have been released as, well, as a WWE referee, where's someone, I don't know who, um, but yeah, sad times, sad, sad times, Stevie Richards, I kind of see... I think like, it's amazing how long he lasted there, and like he was always someone I enjoyed to watch. Like there, um, he never really like had the like, whole thing about him that he did like when he was in ECW, like the lucky. But he like never had someone to be the luckier. If, I mean, I would have liked it if like they had like a thing with Raven when Raven was in the WWE. But um, yeah. Stevie Richards, like, gone. Gone from the WWE. I think this sucks, personally. And, like, I think some of the matches he had on ECW last year were really awesome. He had some really great stiff matches with Kevin Thorne. I know that sounds a bit ridiculous. There go. Some great matches with CM Punk. And, like, overall some good matches. Even, like, the shows against Vladimir Kozlov has been good. Yeah, I'm surprised that he hasn't just been stuck around as, like, an enhancement talent. In other words, well, jobber, but, like, and the same kind of role that, like, Val Venus and Fanaki has. I think, like, he's good, and, like, he has the ability to make other talent look very good. And I'm surprised, like, he's not... And don't, they're not keeping him for that role anymore. But nonetheless, he's been let go. And um, what could this mean for him? Well, hopefully, we'll see him in some like indie promotions or something. But I think like if TNA would pick him up, like they could do a lot worse. I think like it'd be a good addition to their roster. Um, I don't know how far he'd be able to get in TNA, but I could imagine him having some pretty good matches there with like similar people, and there'd be like people he hasn't been matched against. Like, so whether you view Stevie Richards as a jobber or nobody, or hate him from when he was in the right to censor, like, give him some respect for like lasting that long in the WWE when like he probably could have been fired years ago or whatever. I. Right? I personally, I always enjoyed watching him, and I always thought he did a very good job in his role. So yeah, that's that's a shame for Stevie Richards, but hopefully we'll see him once again somewhere else. Um, like not another new releases, the Highlanders. Well, this kind of you saw this coming really. Um, with uh, one of them at that TNA, was it at the TNA Live Impact where they like had? I think it was Robbie. They had a, the one with a beard and uh, long hair anyway, and um, they had him I, on camera, and like, that was a bad mood by TNA, like, just like, putting his job in jeopardy like that, and obviously, um, we haven't seen both of them, like, very much on camera anyway, in fact, very much, like, not a lot's been done with them at all, really, but I think they had, like, a lot of potential to be, like, quite a good tag team, but, like, once again, WWE didn't capitalise on this, and like that's a shame as well, because like they could like build up a tag team division, and there isn't not they're like one of the few tag teams that are actually a tag team and not two wrestlers jumbled together. Um, so it's a big shame for them to go, but yeah, like ugh, I don't see it happening, but maybe um, they could go to TNA as well. Maybe that could be like an interesting addition, and like they can get the wrestle while they want and be used to their full potential because they do have a bit of potential. But like, even if it is quite little, but then again, we haven't been allowed to see what it is that like, they can offer the most of, if you know what I'm saying. Um, yeah, so yeah, that's like some releases. All right, another referee. Referee, I don't know the name of, to be honest. Um, yeah, another thing to talk about is um, I just seen like on the internet um, Colt Cabana's SmackDown debut on WWE, and um, I don't know he had, he had like a short kind of pre-tape promo, um, 
Alright, still like the same kind of like charismatic, jokey cult cabana, but he's called something like Scotty Goldman or something, and I know that's not very good, but like I think like Cole Cabana is someone, well, or Scotty Goldman now, like can like pretty much get over it on his own personal charisma and his talent. He went against the Brian Kendrick, who I am a fan of, and um, it looked, you know, he looked good in there, like it looked like real good in there. Uh, like I hope he isn't like just new enhancement talent or whatever. Though he easily could be, but nonetheless, I'll be looking forward to seeing more of him, and I hope WWE like let more of him shine on SmackDown. I think he would have been a better addition to ECW, like as of now, personally. But hopefully, they can like bring something round, so like maybe he could be like Colt Cabana in a few weeks or something. But nonetheless, I think he will have the ability to entertain a WWE audience. And I'm looking forward to seeing more like of Colt Cabana on like WWE television. And I hope he gets the right opportunities and doesn't get released in a few weeks like uh, Braden Walker does. So yeah, um, some releases that are quite interesting. Um, and also Colt Cabana's debut as Scotty Goldman. Alright, that's just a quick vid from me. I should be doing another vid soon got a few lined up and it's also SummerSlam on Sunday so I'll review that next week there's already a shitload of prediction videos so I'm not going to do that um, may do a Q&A soon so send questions in if you want um, yeah I'm rambling da, da, da. I'll see you later bye